Hello, my name is Doug Ortiz. Welcome to TechBits YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to be covering how to find your PGHBA file. That's it. Let's go ahead and get started. To that effect, I'm going to open my terminal. And notice I already have, as a prerequisite, PostgreSQL previously installed. So for that, I'm going to type in how to log in as a Postgres user, which I'll need a password. And then once I am a Postgres user, I have a few options. The first one we're going to look at is going to psql directly and typing in show HPA file. This is going to show us the location of our HPA file itself. Another option, which might be a little bit less typing, involves typing psql, the minus tuple parameter, minus p for the format, and typing and indicating that it is in an aligned format, along with a command. Here, we're going to type in show hp underscore file. Close the quotes and the semicolon. That will have the same effect. It really is up to you in the end how you want to approach it. But once you have that path, this file is going to have a lot of goodies that will require you to modify your Postgres installation itself. So that's it. Let's try viewing it. And you're going to see that we require admin permissions. So to that effect, I'm going to use sudo ahead of time. sudo etc, vi etc, Postgres SQL. Since I'm using version 13, that is the location of my path and PGA comp file. Notice, if we expand this, we have a total of 103 lines. We're going to find a lot of information here. Mostly, logins, how you want to handle your IPv4, IPv6, your replication, etc., etc. That covers it for this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.